great signature move of all time is MJ's fadeaway. The Michael Jordan fadeaway. The MJ fadeaway. MJ's fadeaway. Jordan eluding. Candy ability to be able to create shots and hang in the air and he's a warrior he's competitive he, there's just nobody like him i think he's the most outstanding player in the game most difficult shot other than the free throw is a fadeaway i get a lot of questions from kids and even grown-ups and adults about a fadeaway jump shot you're shooting a fadeaway the one thing that you try to do is create space between the defense you try as much as possible to square your shoulders up so you're shooting towards your target. Now comes out. Now posting up is Jordan against Harper. Great turnaround move by Michael. Jordan hit. He was always working on leg exercises. He was always doing stuff with Tim Grover to make sure that the hamstrings, quads, glutes, that area was strong because that's where the power comes from in that type of shot. You have to be able to square your shoulders, turn, and elevate. And a lot of the times when you see somebody take a wild fadeaway and it goes away or it just kind of airballs, it's because he didn't square his body all the way up. Yeah, he's looking at the rim, but that ball is going to go where your body tells it to go. But you also got to be able to go both ways. That's a key component in terms of as an offensive player, as I mentioned earlier, you want to be able to use all aspects of the shot, not just one side, not just turning over your right shoulder, but also turning over your left. And that's another instance of trying to keep the defense off balance so they cannot limit your options. The defense comes, he went right, there's no way you can get to it. The defense didn't come, let me go back to the middle and shoot over, shooting over a chair. It's hard because the muscle memory, everything is natural to turn over the shoulder. But now when the defense is coming, you got to go the other way. And if you don't have strong enough hips, you don't turn, you're going to shoot the air ball or you're going to get a block. Mike made it look so easy. All of a sudden, he became the most dangerous man alive. Mid range is so, so unbelievable. Got to find a way to stop that fade away. Fire time by Michael Jordan. He gets the ball real easily. And, and real quick, and he spins the turns. And once he's hitting that shot so well, like he's doing now, it's frustrates you a lot. He gets so high in the air right there, and he's fading. I'm not even George Mirror, so I can get to him. George 7-7. Michael Jordan gets down low. I don't care who's playing him. He's almost impossible one-on-one -on -one to stop. Posting up on the left block. I got a good stance, got a good balance. I feel the defense either putting the form or feeling the pressure from the defense. I can pick and choose because of the way I feel the defense pressure to go the opposite way or go opposite of where the pressure is. Sometimes I can use as a, what I call the windshield wiper. And I tell you what the windshield wiper is. It's a fake to go one way and yet come back the other way. So there's no different when the defense is trying to force you to go one way that you fake one way and then come back the other way, keeping the defense off balance. So if the defense is standing behind me with his forearm, he's trying to keep you from going to the middle. He wants you to turn that way. Well, that's when I give the old fake to come back this way. Most super athletes depend on the fact that they could just jump over you or run by you. He was so flashy, but he was also so fundamentally sound. There weren't any wasted dribbles. Jab steps, everything was perfect. So far, and they're still close enough. If he needs it a lot in the second half, he should be fresh. The smaller KJ goes down the baseline, then just intends to elevate over the top and get a good look.
biggest contribution he can make is defensing Jordan, who goes low post again. fundamentals of the fadeaway is when I'm turning, I'm turning with the notion of catching my target but not exposing the basketball here because the defense now can get to the basketball. So when I'm turning, I'm turning high. So when I'm turning and I'm squaring up to the target, I'm bringing the basketball at a higher portion, an angle that the defense cannot strip at the basketball. You bring the ball here, it brings a little man in play, it brings a quicker defensive player in play. If you bring it here, you eliminate the little people, and it's hard for the defense to reach over your elbow and make a, king, a clean block. So, in the fadeaway, you're creating space here. As you see, my left foot is going to come back away from the defense, and you got to have strong enough wrist, and you have to practice this shot. So you can make your adjustments shooting the basketball, moving away from the target, which is kind of opposite of what you are taught, which is one of the reasons it's not fundamental the shot to shoot, but it's a great shot if you perfect it to create space from the defense and yet a hard shot to play defense towards. Fade away, using my left, pushing off my legs, falling back, shooting towards the basketball. You gotta be able to shoot it on both sides. It doesn't change going from that side of the court to this side of the court. Everything are basically the same. You always want to protect the basketball as an offensive player. So if I'm going baseline to shoot my fadeaway, I'm not carrying the ball low, trying to gain up and get momentum. I'm carrying it high so the defense cannot strip at the basketball. So once I carry it, my left, trying to square up my shoulders towards the target, but I'm pushing away from the target itself, okay? When I go to the right, nothing changes from, from what happened on the other side. I'm leading with my left, carrying the ball high, pushing off, fading from the basketball. A lot of energy from your legs. It takes a lot of loading up from your legs to get the height and momentum going away from your target, which is not customary how you should shoot a basketball. Not fundamentally sound, but yet it's a shot that creates space from your defense. And if you perfect it, it's hard to defend. Michael Jordan, that's the greatest basketball player ever. He's talking about the greatest that ever played the game. The greatest player to ever played the game. Not only the best basketball player, but probably the greatest athlete that's ever played any sport. He's just the greatest. In some circumstances, it's, it's kind of against some of the fundamentals, but yet, if you do it and you practice it enough, it can become a routine, and if you repeat it, it becomes a habit. <laughs>